everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here. Welcome. Today's video is going to be putting together the sewing vintage sewing folio from um, Rustic Playground. So I printed the kit out. I may not have printed exactly how she planned, but I'm going to make it and we're going to have fun with it. And she also has a video um, putting the folio together. Uh, I may not do it exactly how she does. You know, we all do things a little bit differently and that is okay. So we're going to check it out. If you're interested, make sure you check out um, the link below for my affiliate link because I do get a look commissions on that if you use it. And then there is a discount code, 50% off your first month or if you join um, for the year, 50% off of that, and you get everything when you join that way. So check it out, see if it's something you're interested in. If you just want to print the, the little folio kit, the sewing, then you can do that. I think from her Etsy shop, it's, um, really cute. So let's check it out. I may be wrong. She'll, she'll probably post below and let me know. And, uh, don't forget it is junk journal kit giveaway month. So you have to go to the first May 1st video, check it out. I will be adding elements to it for every new member this month for YouTube or Patreon. So hope you'll check that out and let's get started. I have my table covered because I am going to use some Distress Oxide Vintage Photo to um, ink the edges, which I call vintageizing because I want to make it look vintage. So this kit comes with an instruction sheet and it tells you um, how to put the folio together. Um, I'm not sure exactly. Um, I can see some of it, but I'm trying to figure out the other parts of it. So I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to put it together how I would like to put it together. And I'll show you the pieces. So this is a folded pocket. This is backing. We can print this on paper. Um, I print it on cardstock anyway. This is a um, printed on cardstock and this is just some embellishment. This is pockets. These are flaps and it has your flap here. So, um, this is your, um, folded pocket. You can see how to fold it. And then this is the backing for that. So you print it on both sides. This is some more, and this says the backing for C, which she has all of this, um, noted, but, um, like I said, I may change it up a little bit. These are pockets for inside the journal. So I'll show you how that goes together. This is the, I mean, it's not a journal, it's a folio. This is the actual folio. This is the front and this is the back. So you print it front and back and mine printed good. So here's some more pockets. This is a tall pocket. Here is um, a backing, some tags and journaling cards, and then some more embellishments there with your papers uh, or words papers. Okay, so first we're going to cut out the folio piece and then we're going to fold it first. Okay, folks, I think I've got the main pieces cut out. I don't have all the tags and uh, embellishments cut out, but so let me just kind of show you. I've placed things where they go so that you can see. All right, so this is your main so piece. So there are your fold lines, so you wanna score these two lines, and there's two lines to give you a little room for what goes on the inside. So this is the front. Now, according to the instructions, it's a, it's, um, it's backwards, I think. Is it? Maybe not. Maybe this is supposed to be like this way, and then this is going to, go here on the outside. Maybe that is what she meant. Okay, so we're gonna go with it that way. These two pieces will cover the flaps for your pockets that fold in. These are outside pockets that are diagonal. These are all pockets that make up a four um, pocket layout along with your um, tall pocket and a folded pocket. Now this one, 
is like this. You print it on both sides. You have two score lines, and then you diagonally fold like this, and then you fold it in to make your pocket. Really cute pocket, and it's gonna set on here. Um, she give you, gave you a keyhole for the outside. Also, you have a flap here, and it looks like this. You have your score lines, and you're going to um, attach it this way, and then it will fold up. It will fold in and fold up. So we're gonna put it all together, at least the way I think it should go together, and then we are going to um, have fun with it. All right, first, I'm gonna just go around these edges real quick. Uh, the main piece. And since I didn't get to watch Carla's video, um, she does demo it herself. And since she created it, I'm sure it is the way she designed it. But we always make it our own, right? All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the back here. Okay, this pocket is pocket, our flap A, and I did not um, print anything on the back of it, so I am going to add this piece. Right, so this flap goes here. I had it upside down before. Okay, so we're gonna set that there, and then what's gonna go on here will be this piece right there, so you can see. Okay, so we're gonna let that set. Okay, so that's that one. I think that's what she intended. So what fits here is this tall pocket, which it's really kinda tall. I believe that I am going to shorten it a bit so that it's not quite as tall as the as the page. So this one is going to go here. So I'm going to add my glue. Now you can use your precision glue if you want. I just have this one out and I'm just going to carefully try not to put too much. Okay. And then we'll put that here. There we go. I may not have gotten that very straight. It looks like but that's okay. All right, then we're gonna take this pocket, which is um, the one that's folded. I showed you how to fold it. And it's going to glue, that's gonna be covered up. So we're gonna do this side here and this side and then the bottom. All right, so the folded pocket goes like this. So we're gonna glue, let's see, we're gonna glue here and the bottom. So we're gonna glue here. All right. And this one folds in this way. Then we're gonna put a little glue here. And then we're gonna put glue here to hold it together. There we go. And we'll put that in place here. Okay, I may put some, um, some kind of little something, something. Now I'm not going to make this a pocket in the back. Just stability wise, I want to just glue that all in. And then I've got that pocket there. There we go. All right, on this side, we've got these diagonal pieces that are going to fit right here. So I'm gonna ink these up and then we'll glue them in. I love to vintageize. Okay, so this one is gonna go here first. It's the, about the same size as this one, but we're gonna do um, opposite sides for the diagonals. So this one's gonna go in first and we just go along each side and the bottom. Again, if you feel like your glue is coming out too fast, you can use uh, tape to precision it, um, or you can use a precision nozzle, like this one. But I'm already have this one open, so. Then the next one is this one. And we're gonna go light on all the sides. Okay. 
Okay. And this one fits right here. And they all line up at the bottom, as you can see here. Okay. All right. So we've got this one here. These two. This is a pocket. That's a pocket. So we've got this one, and we're going to go on the left first. So I want to make sure you can see this come together. It's a cute little folio, and I love the theme. So I've got a sewing journal coming up. haven't started it yet, but I'm trying to decide. I think I might make a couple of different journals with it. All right, so I glued this one in. So you've got your pocket here, 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 and there. So four pockets. And make sure we can get in there. Okay, so I wanted to show you how it all came together at the end. I gave you most of the prep, but let's open this ribbon here. Got the little keyhole on here, and the backings are on as well. Then it opens up this way. You have a pocket here. It opens here. You can you can stuff something in this pocket. You have a pocket here, pocket here, and uh, you can slide something here. You have this tuck spot here. This opens. That's just um, decoration. Then you have two pockets here. Pocket, 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 pocket. So what a fun folio for the vintage sewing folio kit from Rustic Playground. I hope that you like this video. Um, it's a really fun piece. You could actually, um, you know, put it together a few different ways if you wanted to. So anyway, thanks so much for watching.